a bar 360, a pullover, a muscle up 360, a hop over and a basket drop are five easy freestyle calisthenics skills that you guys can learn. So at the end of this video, you're going to have what it takes to get every single skill. So the first move is a bar 360. This move will help you progress to the muscle up 360 which we'll do later on in this video. But let's get started with a bar 360. The first step will be learning to sit on the bar from a 180 turn. At first you may feel uncomfortable but once you keep trying this will become much easier which will make you ready for the next progression. The next progression will be bringing your arms around to stabilize yourself on the bar with your palms facing outwards. This will make it possible to turn over to face the bar again once you reach out with the opposite hand. Keep trying to step until you become comfortable to speed it up and eventually you will have yourself a bar 360. So the next easy skill to learn is a pullover. So let's go up on the bar and I'll run you through the techniques. Find yourself a low bar that you can practice on. You want to start with jumping and kicking your lead leg to carry the momentum. As you kick you want to bend your arms and hold the bar towards your waist. With the momentum and the right positioning this will allow you to get over the bar. Keep trying this transition before you move on to the next step. The next step is jumping into the pullover with your legs together. Keep trying then eventually you can move on to the higher bar. When you practice on the higher bar, keep in mind that your goal is to do the pullover without the jump. So lessen the jump as much as possible until you can do it. Moving on to the next skill, this one's going to work on your confidence. This is the bar hop. For some this move can be a bit scary so you can start off with just climbing over the bar. Once you gain a bit of confidence you can start to change your hand grip so that you can catch it on the other side. To practice the hop over, you can find a small bench or wall to jump over and then when you are ready, you can bring this back to the bar. When you go for this move, you will need to use your hips to kip off the bar. When you kip off the bar, push upwards so that you can bring your legs over. Then all you have to do is turn to face the bar and catch it. From a hop over, this will lead over to a basket drop. This is now going to work on building even more confidence to get into this move and this is a perfect move to get into a back lever. Similar to the hop over, to learn this move you can start off with climbing onto the bar. When you have one foot on, bring the other leg through so that you are able to sit on the bar then fall forwards by pushing off. When you are ready to go for the move, you are going to have to hop over with the aim to sit on the bar. Make sure you practice with a mat to prevent any risk of injuries. It is also okay to fall forwards a few times, but eventually you would want to land seated, so keep practicing until you can do so. Now that you know how to land on the bar, the next step is to fall backwards. If you find this part scary, what you can do is hop on the bar to sit on it and then fall backwards. Glue all the steps together and then do your basket drop. And like I said before, this is a perfect way to get into a back lever. So this move is one of the most impressive one out of the five, the muscle up 360. So let's go. The most important part of this move is to kip off the bar. This will allow you to get enough height and time to make the rotation. Use your legs to generate momentum by kicking forwards and then backwards to hop off the bar. From this you can start to push upwards with your hips and arms. As you get more comfortable you can then let go with the aim to recatch the bar. Remember the goal is to go upwards not backwards. Ok so the next progression is learning to turn. Make sure you look over your shoulder in the direction you are turning. This will make the rotation so much easier. For your body to rotate you will need to push away with your arms towards the direction you are turning. You can practice your rotation by twisting on the floor or jumping in a 360. You can now try the next progression which is a 90 degree turn, a 180 degree turn, a 270 degree turn and then the full 360. Make sure you practice each one. To work on catching the bar you can jump in a 360 with your arms together. Give this a go a few times and then go for the muscle up 360 on the P-bars. When you can do 5 in a row move to the high bar. When you get up there it can become scary at first so regress the move to build confidence by sending a few attempts without going for the catch. When you're ready to go for the move, remember to fully send. You will already have the ability to do it as you can catch it on the P-bars. And for a bonus one, I've added an extra skill. And this is a forward roll. It's a perfect skill to learn as a beginner. Here it is. With a forward roll, you will need to build momentum by flinging your head forward. Once you bring your head forward, reach behind your legs. This will naturally carry the momentum to do the forward roll. To catch the bar, push off with your forearms. Now you have what it takes to do a forward roll and 5 other freestyle calisthenics tricks. So make sure you comment below other videos that you want me to make in the future to help you on your calisthenics journey. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe to help this YouTube channel grow.